In this video, I'll break down my export settings when I'm planning to upload a video to Instagram or YouTube. So as you can see right here, I have just an Instagram reel. This is a reel that I posted a couple days ago. And I'm just going to break down kind of my whole workflow when I go about actually exporting the video. So one thing you want to do, or basically two things you want to do before you export a video, is make sure you're not editing in proxy media. So I head over here to view. As you can see, I have it on optimized slash, um, slash original. If I have if I have it on proxy preferred or proxy only and I try to export it, it's not going to allow me to export. So if you're editing in proxy Proxy media, you want to switch and go back over to optimize slash uh, slash original media, and you're gonna to want to wait for it to render. So you want to make sure you see this little check icon that basically means the entire project is rendered and ready to export. Now, once you're ready to actually export the video, all you want to do is make sure you're open to the project you want to export, and click on the keyboard shortcut Command E, and that will bring up the export window. Now, as you can see right here, you can rename the video if you want to. I was at to go through and double check, so you see 1080 by 1920 this is the resolution of the video which just means it's an HD video it's at 30 frames per second and then stereo left or right you want to make sure it says left and right or else it's only going to be coming out of one speaker and then 48 kilohertz in my opinion is just kind of the standard I've seen most people just stick with 48 kilohertz so I always have to just go through and double check everything just to make sure everything looks good then I head over here to the settings tab and I go over here to format and I make sure it's selected on video and audio and the video codec if you're uploading to um, any kind of social media platforms you want to make sure it says H.264 that is really important and as you can see again it shows the resolution it shows the color space which is in a rec 709 and then I have an AAC in the audio format and then I just leave this check and I don't think it really matters that much and then the action I always have it selected on QuickTime player um, by default so that's basically all the settings that I have and then all you would do is you would you would click on the next tab so click on next and as you can see I have it saved to my desktop right here then here you can go ahead and rename it so I want to have it saved to my desktop and then all you want to do is click on save and then you're just gonna wait as you see in the upper left hand corner you'll see a little like loading bar and that basically just means the video is exporting now, as you can see the video is just about done exporting once that bar fully loads up as you can see the video is just going to simply um, pop up so you don't have to do anything or go into another window or anything you see the video just instantly pops up and then you should have a notification that will eventually um, show up for Final Cut. That basically just means like the video is exported. And then, as you can see, there we go. The, the video literally just simply popped up in the QuickTime Player. So if I go ahead and play the video right here, as you can see, there we go. The video is literally right here. And then all you have to do is you see the videos right here and see it's opened up in QuickTime. That's where we have the action selected on QuickTime. And then just simply go ahead, you, you know, go through and watch the video if you want. And then you can just simply close out of the video. And there you go. And then you'll see the QuickTime player will basically close out. So that's basically just that's why you have it on the action selected onto QuickTime. And the video will just, just it'll just simply open. You don't do want to do an extra window or anything like that. It'll just simply pop up. And those are basically my export settings. Anytime I want to upload a video to YouTube and to Instagram. Now if you're very new to Final Cut, I want to basically just show you how you actually go about setting the resolution, the frame rate. So if I click on here, Command N, and to create a new project, as you can see I can rename the project, I can change the format, I can change the resolution. So if I go here, and I want to change it to like 7, 720, and I want to change the frame rate to 50 frames per second. But as you can see, this is basically where you kind of set everything. There really is no great way to uh, like adjust the resolution or adjust the frame rate or adjust the color space in the actual export window so you want to make sure that you have the settings dialed in at the very start when you actually go about creating the project anyways hopefully you enjoyed this video hopefully you found it helpful and informative if you enjoy these types of videos make sure to go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you're looking for some really cool Final Cut Pro plugins presets editing assets go ahead and check out my digital store anyways I will see you in the next one peace